Hello. So we are back. And uh, this time we have a customer job, okay? This is a nice laptop. Look at this one. i7 uh, uh, A-Gen. We have uh, GTX graphics, NVIDIA. It's a nice one. Now, what model it is? Let's see. It's Asus GL703, okay? G. Now, let me explain you. Always when I have a, a, I have a customer which has a gaming laptop and uh, he wants to be fixed and already someone look at the laptop and they consider, okay, this cannot be repaired. Actually, I'm trying to turn down that job. I'm trying like gently, you know, uh, to, to don't take that job because I don't want the diagnosis. Yeah, that's not the idea why we are here. That's not the idea why I'm doing this, to get the diagnosing fee, even if it's, I'm not fixing it. So this job is like that. Maybe you will do it in a different way. If you will do it in a different way, just leave me a comment. Okay, so we have the customer text. The laptop turned off itself while he was using. I took it to the repairs, and they said the motherboard is gone, and they could not repair. I also went to an insurance company, they inspected, and they said the same thing. They said several chips and MOSFET is gone. Now, what you will do with a job like this? You will say no. Exactly, that's what I say. So my reply was like, uh, uh, hi, sure, I can have a look, but the odds are not great in your case. It's a gaming laptop, a big charger, and it shorted MOSFET, it will push a lot of current into the CPU and GPU. Most likely the CPU or GPU is dead. But like, uh, like I, always, I always said, I don't, have to, I don't mind to have a look. We are charging 25 pounds for a diagnosing, diagnosis fee. I mean, I'm trying like, like a gentleman to say no. You know, I tell the customer, most likely the CPU and GPU is that. But there are people like this customer and this insist, you know, sorry, please do a video. They want to do a video. They want me to diagnose these things. You know, it's, it's not, it doesn't look nice, you know, just to say no. Okay. So uh, the customer want to be sure this is that. If it's that. If we can fix it, it will be great. So let's try, yeah? Let's open this one and see what's the problem. So the laptop already has been checked by, uh, by two different companies and both said the laptop is dead, okay? Now this is a nice laptop. So check inside, proper nice. Wow. Why this fan is here? I mean, it will make sense if it will cool down the chipset. But this is a nice one. And the BIOS battery here. I can't see the IO chip. But this is a nice one. Yeah, let's get the multimeter and just check the main power rail. Let's see. So the main power rail, we have some capacitor here, is shorted, yeah, zero ohms. The main power rail is shorted. Now what does mean? That mean our CPU or GPU is dead because of a shorted MOSFET, or in a lucky case, but <laughs> you have to be very, very lucky, like, you know, going for the, the national lottery, like on the same way lucky, to be like a shorted capacitor. But I don't think because already this laptop was checked by two companies. I mean, how hard is to, you know, get a multimeter and check a power line? It's not that hard. But this is a nice laptop, all copper. Okay, so the heat sink. Let's trace. Let's try to take it out. Okay, so that's the heat sink. 
I mean, a bunch of MOSFETs are missing from here, but I suppose he's, uh, does the design of this laptop. Probably. So how we can spot a faulty MOSFET? The easiest way is with a thermal camera. Um, and actually, it's kind of safe because we don't have to use a lot of current. Mm. We don't have to use a lot of current. Let's get the power supply. Let's switch the power supply to about one volt is fine. And uh, we'll see about the current. So let's see the, the resistance of the short. If the resistance is very low, yeah, we can have a shorter capacitor. If the resistance is high, you'll see on the power supply like uh, high voltage or low current is bad. That means the MOSFET is shorter than actually I'm pushing current on the CPU or GPU. So here, zero, zero, 002 voltage. That means this is ground. And here is plus. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? So the, the, the limit is 2.4 amps because that's the limit what I put on the power supply. But check the voltage, 0 0.03, and on the other side, 0 0.06. The resistance is very, very low. So very possible we can fix this laptop because most likely can be a capacitor. I mean, the CPU should have few ohms. The GPU, few ohms as well. And I should have a high voltage there, but I don't. High voltage, that's mean I should have nearly one volt with 2.4 amps, yeah? But I have like 0, 0.0, yeah? So we can be lucky. We can be in luck with this one. Let's see what is getting hot. Let's see what is getting hot. Possible to be able to hold this customer. And the GPU is getting hot. Uh, you can see the color of the GPU. You can see the CPU is black, yeah? The GPU is start changing color. Uh, that mean not only the MOSFET is shorted, let's raise the current to three amps, not only the MOSFET is shorted, but probably even the GPU is shorted. Yeah, so that's the CPU is black, completely black, and the GPU is bright. You can see the GPU. Okay, let's see the MOSFETs. Let's see which one it is. Uh, hmm? The GPU MOSFETs, yeah, are here. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it's there. So I believe it's the second one. I believe this one, yeah. This, this is the MOSFET, which is faulty. Okay, let's remove that MOSFET and... Uh, actually, we can be lucky. We can be like, what, uh, what, what GPU is here? GTX. We can be lucky. We can be lucky that that MOSFET is completely shorted. I mean, if the high side MOSFET and the downside MOSFET are shorted, we will have zero ohms. But the GPU is, pro is not protected because it's getting warm. I don't know. But there are some chances to fix this, okay? So let's remove this MOSFET. And uh, see, check and see what's going on. Okay, yeah. So the microscope. Okay, so does the MOSFET. Mm, not sure, but possible to have this MOSFET. Possible. Let me get the hot air. 
Max temperature 480. Let's try to remove it, yeah. Lol, let me unplug the battery. Okay. I forgot about the battery. Probably that's why it was... Uh, no. No. The battery is disconnected probably. Because the battery has the short circuit protection inside. Okay, so the MOSFET is out. Now let's check for short again. And it's not short anymore, okay? I probably can't see. So going on the same spot with the multimeter, you see those capacitors from here? It's not short anymore. So uh, do you think the laptop will turn on? So let's see, let me plug the charger. Let me put a heat sink, yeah? Because it's very possible if that... Uh, it's very possible you can see the laptop on. I'm just curious. I mean, we've seen before. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let me plug the battery. Mm, the chipset is fine. Okay, let me plug the charger. What is interesting, the customer said he was, he was, he was was not doing a, a graphical intense application. He was not running. He was running some uh, Microsoft uh, program. So plug in the charger. We plug the charger. And we don't have the charging light. Okay, that's bad. Power on. And the laptop is not turning on. Okay, so we have a second issue here. We have a second problem. Let's check the charger. And the charger 1.8 volts, 1.7. What? Let me unplug the, the battery. Something else got shorted. No, the main power rail is not shorted. Let's check the charger, yeah? We have one volt on the charger. It's not the middle pin. No, 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 it's not the middle, it should be this one. It's like one volt on the charger. Okay, that's not right. Okay, let's try with the power supply. Yeah? So we have minus and plus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, minus and plus. Let's try with the power supply. Let's see, 20 volts. Yeah, a lot of amps. Let's plug the battery. Let's see if it's charging. And it's not short. I can hear the power supply clicking. So the power supply is clicking. 
No, we don't have. We, we, we cannot power up this one. So I have like five amps and the power supply is clicking. Okay, so I spent uh, I spent a while with this board trying to figure out what what's happening, and uh, I'm on a point where uh, I figured it out. Okay, so I did remove few MOSFETs from here just to be sure because uh, remember on the beginning was weird. I mean, even with the power supply here, without the battery, uh, my power supply was clicking, so something was taking current. Yeah, even after we remove uh, the shorted MOSFET. So uh, what did I found is this one. I put a MOSFET here. After I disconnect this MOSFET, everything was fine. I mean, now I can come with a power supply to the uh, to the charging port, and it's okay. Yeah. So power supply nineteen. Yeah. So coming on the charging port. Here is the charge. Now it's fine. Now it's taking like 0 0.03 and it's fine. It's nothing clicking anymore. Now, what power supply is this? Because this is very important. So if I check with multimeter, yeah, let's go on the ohm range here. Yeah? So check on the screen. Here we have, we have like 3.9 ohms. So what power supply do you think it is? A chipset power supply. Okay, so let's lower the voltage. Let's come with the power on the this power line. We have like 1.5 volts. This is the chipset. And pay attention on the chipset. I don't even know where it is. Let's come with voltage. And let's see what it is. Yeah, is there you can see it? Yeah, that's the chipset. And you can see it's getting hot in one corner. So the chipset is dead. So what's what's happening here? The MOSFET got shorted from the graphics, yeah? The graphic chip got like over 200 watts. Yeah, that's mean the 19 volts go straight to the GPU. I believe the voltage come back to the chipset because otherwise I cannot explain why the chipset is burned has no connection this power supply with the uh, with the chipset apart from the fact this is as a switching graphic it's a switching graphic uh, laptop this chipset is hgm370 intel and uh, i can't replace the chipset i don't have the chipset even if even if you find a, a good chip to buy from aliexpress Let's say it's good. Let's say you buy it and it's good. It's hard to be replaced. Can be replaced, yeah. But let's pay attention on the GPU, okay? So on the GPU, what do we have on the GPU? I mean, it's risky. I replace this and the laptop, it will work. We have a shorted MOSFET on the GPU. So on the GPU, we have 0 .0 0 0.20 ohms. You can see it's 0 0.22, but my probes, yeah, are like 0 0.22, you can see? So basically the GPU has exactly zero ohms, yeah, the exactly zero ohms. Okay, let's say, okay, sorry, okay, the GPU is dead, the chipset is dead, what about the, the other side of the board? Yeah, because we still have the IO chip and uh, the IO chip is good. To check the IO chip is very simple. You plug the battery, yeah? And if you plug the charger, you should have the charging light, right? So plug in the battery and here is here are the lights. I, you can't see it, sorry. Here you have the, the lights and actually you have no light. That means the IO chip is not, is not working. But if I'm checking the voltage on the IO chip, okay, so we have, this is the power level of the IO chip. You can see on the screen, it's 3.3 volts. So we do have voltage, but my IO chip is still not working. Yeah, so this is another fault. We do have the 19 volts power rail. We can check it here. Yeah, 19.8, you can see on the screen. So uh, I believe this IO chip is also dead. 
I believe the chipset is dead, and I believe the GPU is is dead, shorted. By the way, the chief said, I checked the data sheet, it's supposed to take like 3 watts. So uh, definitely 3 ohms is, is not fine. Now I'm really sorry, this, uh, this board is, you know, it's, it's nothing what we can do. So actually the people testing the laptop before, because the customer gave, like how I said, some uh, computer repair shop, then the insurance company they tested and... Uh, I don't even believe they tested. Probably you see, oh, what? It's a gaming laptop. Okay, shorted power L. Okay, it's, it's not even point testing. But I, I really want to, you know, just to find exactly what the problems are on this board. Okay, so I'll stop. No, I'm really sorry. Uh, this is the story with the gaming laptop, just because there it's a big charger. Yeah, big charger. A lot of power supply, a lot of MOSFETs, you can see. Yeah, when a MOSFET gets shorted, it's 99.9% of the cases, it's end of story. Okay? So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.